Hi there. Now, in this question, we're given that a geometric progression has first term log in base 2 of 27 and a common ratio log in base 2 of y. And we've got two parts here. First part, we've got to find the set of values of y for which the geometric progression has a sum to infinity. And then in the second part, find the exact value of y for which the sum to infinity of the geometric progression is 3. So I'll give you a moment to pause the video if you want to have a go at this. And when you come back, I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for the first part, let's just put down what we've got here. When we're dealing with geometric progressions, the first term is often given the letter A. OK, so we'll just recap here that we're given that the first term A is the log in base 2 of 27. And the common ratio is given by R. R equals the log in base 2 then of Y. Now when you've got a sum to infinity, okay, the sum to infinity, remember, okay, is given by this formula, A, the first term, divided by 1 minus the common ratio. Now this is only true though if that common ratio lies between minus 1 and 1. So that's what we work off of here. So what I'm going to do is say now that the common ratio R must lie between minus 1 and 1 for a sum to infinity. And that means that if we substitute for R, we've got that the log in base 2 okay, of Y is greater than minus 1 but less than 1. And if I anti-log throughout this inequality here, what we've got is that we're working with the base 2, so we therefore have 2 to the power minus 1, okay, must be less than y, must be less than 2 to the power 1. So therefore, 2 to the power minus 1 is 1 over 2 to the power 1, or a half, and that must be less than y, which must be less than 2 to the power 1, which is 2. So y will take on any value between a half and 2. OK? Now, in the second part here, find the exact value of y for which the sum to infinity of the geometric progression is 3. So I've got basically the sum to infinity here, as being the first term a divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So if we substitute our values in, we've got a then is going to be the log in base 2 of 27, and this is divided by 1 minus the common ratio, 1 minus the log in base 2 of y, and this equals 3, we're told, OK? Now, I've got a fractional equation, so I want to get rid of the fraction, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 minus the log in base 2 of y. So, therefore, we've got the log in base 2 of 27 equals 3 times 1, which is going to be 3, and then minus 3 times the log in base 2 of y. Now being a log equation, you should be familiar with how we go about solving these, and that is we need to bring all the terms containing logs to one side. And if I do that, I'm going to add 3 log in base 2 of y to both sides. So therefore we've got the log in base 2 of 27 plus 3 log in base 2 of y equals 3. Now, to simplify this, I need to reduce this to one term. When you're handling log equations, you must reduce it down to two terms. So we can group these two here together to make one term, and then for the other term it will equal 3. And we did this actually in the very first part of the question. 
part A. But if you're doing this from scratch here, it's very easy. All we've got to do is first of all, remove the three from here. By the power rule, this is exactly the same as the log in base two of y cubed. We just take the three up as a power and that will equal the three. And then we can group these two together using the addition rule here that this is the same as the log in base two of 27 multiplied by y cubed. And this equals the three here. So now we've got our two terms. One of them is a log term. We can anti-log, okay? So in other words, what we've got is 27y cubed, okay? Therefore, 27y cubed must be equal to the base, which is two, raised to the power three. So to get y cubed, we just divide both sides by 27, so you've got 2 cubed divided by 27. And for this one, you could do it quite easily without a calculator by taking the cube root of both sides, both the numerator here and the denominator are easily cube rooted. The cube root of 2 cubed is 2, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So therefore, you end up with y equaling two-thirds.